So last time we talked, Autumn Volkov, the heir of my legacy challenge, did nothing, while her brother, Edward Volkov, along with his girlfriend, Huri Tanaka, told the Volkovs about Hilary's pregnancy and her younger sister. Nicole Volkov officially entered a romantic relationship with her now boyfriend, Caleb Vitor, Caleb taking Nicole's singinity soon after. Nicole stayed at Caleb's while Edward went to Hilary's place. The two of them had talked a lot about their future while Nicole was getting her suchi stretched. After Hillary gives birth, the two of them would be moving into their own place, with the Somolians left for Hillary after her parents' deaths, and one sixth of the household funds from the Volkovs for Edward. They would have more than enough money to buy themselves a small family starter home in San Sequoia. The two of them were enthralled to begin this new chapter of their lives together, but to make sure they were completely ready, they headed to an early parenthood class together, which helped the both of them prepare to become parents. Hillary was scared shitless to give birth, so she decided she would be opting out of a natural birth and would be having a C-section, Edward fully supporting her. And with Hillary's third trimester finally here, their excitement was at its peak. At home, depressed, Ezra decided he was going out to the club. He needed to let loose to maybe get a little hammered. Things were so boring now that he was too depressed to go back to school and that his family was moving on. Edward's a dad, Autumn will be a wife in a few days. Nicole was gone all night with someone, probably that emo pale stranger considering she really has no other friends. Ezra knew that he couldn't base his happiness completely on his family or on Mason, but he also knew something else. He didn't like all these changes in his life. But he's growing up, and so is the rest of his family. He has to learn to embrace it, but was struggling. Boom G. Ezra's hookup Cory Kane is here. Awkward. While out on the dance floor, Ezra noticed a cute girl standing nearby that he remembered attending high school with. Her name was Leah Silversweater. He went up to her and said hi, wondering if she remembered him. She didn't. While the two got to know each other, Ezra realized something. He found Leah extremely attractive. She was cute, thick, and had a really sweet personality. He wondered if she would want to go upstairs with him. And she did, not Ezra in his hoeing era, with some adult juice in his system. Ezra felt much more comfortable woohooing with Leah than he did with Corey. Plus, Leah's his age, so he really didn't have to worry as much about his lack of experience. They were both just having a good time. I can't show you, but you can use your imagination for what Ezra is eating right now. The woohoo and partying was nice, but still wasn't enough to get Ezra's serotonin levels up. What was going on with him? Why was he feeling like this? Surely, all of this couldn't be because of Mason. Yeah, he was his best friend. And yeah, he did sell his sister an obscene amount of medications. And yeah, he did break his trust so terribly that all of Ezra's future relationships will probably be affected by it. But that can't be it. Ezra, you cannot shower and have all your business out at the family park. Even Form Bailey isn't impressed. Back at home, Edward and Hillary were trying to induce labor. Hills was so over being pregnant at this point and just wanted the baby out. Autumn was asking red beans and rice to be the flower pal at her wedding. She then asked Edward to be her ring bearer, him happily agreeing. And while Hillary was working out on the yoga ball, Ezra came home and had a visitor. Leah, why are you here and why are you watching Ezra sleep? Okay, so maybe Ezra has improved at woohoo. Autumn asked Nicole to be the maid of honor at her wedding when she finally came home from her night with Caleb. Nicole saying yes. And Ezra and Leah were going for round two. My goodness, Ezra is in her guts. Oh how I've never wanted to be a sim so badly. But things were very odd between Ezra and Leah once they were done. She was asking him a lot of questions about his brother, Edward. How did she know about him? And why did she care so much? She finally confessed she had no interest in Ezra. The truth is that she's been in love with Edward for several years. She used to text him all the time and ask him out. And he would just ignore her. She demanded Ezra to tell her where he was so she could ask him out in person and finally have what's hers. Spoiler alert bitch, Edward's in a relationship and is about to be a father. He's probably going to move out and marry his girlfriend. He told her, so her weirdest can leave and never come back. He went ahead and kicked her out 
not super disappointed about the whole situation. Leah knew who he was at the club, and she used him to get closer to his brother. Seems like nothing can go right for Ezra right now. He was sure he was doomed to be stuck in Moonwood Mill forever. And this gloom that clouded over him wasn't going anywhere anytime soon.